guys, I wanted to show you some of my sales for the month or couple months. This goes back 60 days, I guess. Yeah, 60 day total. As you can see, it's $4,674. Um, that is not all profit that, you know, I spent money to make money. Um, but we'll go through um, the things that have sold. And um, I, I'll tell you how much I paid for the the items. These boots just sold today. Um, 38 bucks. I paid $4 for them. Shoes are like uh, $3.99. This, I paid $4 for it. I sent out an offer for $22. I've had it for a while. Um, so, I just decided to liquidate it. So, I'm not making huge profit on that, that blouse. But, um, I still make the profit like $13, $14. Bucks. This, I got pulled out of a trash can, so that's all profit. These these are vintage salt shakers. Um, this is all profit. Um, this is the second pan I sold. This is from last year's um, dumpster dive, all the Halloween things. And this is the second one I've sold. We have one that go far down. This one, I think I pulled out of the trash can, so that's all profit. These flip flops are um Sanook. I don't know how and I bought these for four dollars, so I made thirty dollars off that. I spent six dollars for these three frames, um, so I made nineteen bucks on that. These keen shoes I paid four dollars and ninety cents, um, made twenty five. This sweater I paid four dollars and um you know, it's like four twenty three with tax or whatever. So, this was a huge profit for me. These Michael Simmons sweaters. Let me go in and show you one. You should pick it up. So, it just like really cute. It was really, really cute. This was a great one. Um, it was in pretty good condition. Um, the little cupa, cupids on it. And it's Michael Simmon. Simon. And, um... It went to New York. So, that was great. Um, really good. Um, so, I made it a lot on that one. 75 bucks. Um, I got these Troy Birch shoes. But, they were like dolls. I really didn't think that they would sell. But, they just kind of sold out of the blue. I was like thought that was a bad buy but I ended up making 35 um bucks 35 or I don't know I can't remember it's close maybe 35 to 40 bucks um let's see what else okay these are every one of these things are from the garbage um that was the honey pot dumpster um, that are, I still find some things from them, but not very much. And so all of that was $35. So that was all profit. All profit, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, these shoes, my ex-husband gave to my daughter. She didn't want them, so I sold them. This jacket, I paid $6, so I made 19 This I sold it, but they, they didn't buy it, so, and then here's the other, um, so this got relisted, um, Norik, this is a dumpster dive, these shoes were, like, incredible, um, they're old, they're from the 60s, um, but, um, I went back and forth with the buyer, these, if, they're like in really good condition. They're like twelve hundred dollars shoes. I paid four dollars for it. I was ecstatic to get a hundred and forty one. Um, ecstatics. I listed them for a hundred and fifty actually, and then. Um, but whatever. It, they went to California. Um, oops. They went to California, so I made one hundred and thirty dollars on that one. So that was a really good, really good profit margin. And I, I usually have really good profit margins. Some of these people I see 
selling is like making two or three hundred three two or three dollars on their stuff and i'm like no this is not even worth it um this zara top i paid four dollars for so i made 24 dollars on that this is the michael kors purse that i showed you guys that i got for my daughter that said no way she didn't like it so i paid 45 i sold it for 75 made 30 35 bucks on it? No, 30 bucks on that. This, you saw me buy the in the store. Um, it's a Hespel or Hespel, whatever. It just went to England, actually. And um, I made like $38, something like that. I've had this for a long, long time. I paid like $2.50 for it. Um, it finally sold. So I made maybe seven. 17 bucks. I don't know. This was a good buy. A really, really, really good buy. These William Sonoma Wicker No One Rattan Charger Plates. I got 16 of them. They had them at Goodwill. These were brand new. Had the stickers on them. Um, four of them for 99 cents. So I have a total of $4 into these and I made 180 That was just unfun unbelievable it was really great um this camera i bought years and years ago i've had it when i first started um selling um i listed it for buy now at a uh, 59 but people bl bid on it and it went up to 102 so if you look this is like a 3d camera it's really and it was broken Go figure. I don't know. Um, this I paid two dollars for. Um, made eight dollars on it. it. It was okay. The radio I I bought it for twelve ninety nine. So I didn't really make that much on that, but it's gone. It's out of here. Um, the Biggie Smalls Coogee sweater I paid five dollars for. Sold it for fifty nine. So I made forty four. This was a great buy. This was um, a really beautiful velvet burnt out shawl. It was gorgeous. Paid for, it was $4.29. So I made like 30 bucks on that. These I got in a two, I bought two bag of toys for $5 a piece. And these were just some of the things that was in there. So all these Monster High dolls, they were new and they didn't have, they were missing their hands and stuff. So I sold it for $10. So all the rest of that stuff is going to be profit. But this is just like getting my money back. This skirt I bought um, for 4 bucks, So I made 15 or $14. These I bought for 4 bucks, Made 20 These I paid. How much did I pay? I, I think I paid... 12 bucks for these boots so I made 38 this was sold but then canceled so but I got that out of the trash <laughs> uh, this Johnny was tunic four dollars so I made fifty four dollars on that this was a dollar fifty so I made twenty three bucks on that these were out of the trash, so there was, I paid $3 for this radio. This, I paid a dollar for. Um, the guy, I thought it was bronze. He, he came back and said it wasn't. Um, so, we agreed on me giving him $10 back, so I made 19 on that. Um, this was out of a jar, one jar, one random jar. Um, I sold it for $6. These were out of a jar as well. I sold them for 15 This, I think this, I paid like 3 bucks, like many, many years ago. It's been in my house for a long time. I was over it. So, I made like 32 on that. Um, paid $5 on this skirt. A $24. These were in a jar. So, I, don't, I can't tell you what jar it was, but this I, I pulled out of a trash can, so that was all profit. 
this sold but one of the little parts of it was weak and it and it broke before I could sell it or get it packed and so I had to refund the money but I'm looking for someone to put it back on uh, this I paid four dollars for it went to England and I made 60 bucks this I paid four dollars for made 45 bucks this was in a, a random jar so I made 30 bucks um, this person never did never did pay for this so I still have that watch and this watch was in a, a random jar as well I made 40 bucks off that and then this Johnny was top paid four dollars for that so I made 55 this little orange guy I bought for 50 cents and sold and this is a Patagonia um, women's fleece paid four dollars for that May 40 this I paid five dollars and fifty cents or something like that for a dress a goodwill I made 40 bucks on it or 44 or whatever um, four dollars on these shoes made twenty five dollars um, this was out of the trash can that's all profit this one got canceled um, because the shipping was just crazy on it um, so I still have that and this bracelet I got in a set and I separated the set and the necklace and I paid six ninety nine for the set so I don't know I say that press it was three dollars so I made fifty two this um it's a needlepoint style uh it was a forty six and it was a golf theme and it was definitely used but I may uh pay two dollars for that and um sold it for twenty twenty seven these dolls, um, I paid 12 for them, so I made 28 This jacket was $4, um, made 16 The Stan Harmon's white Chanel long robe, I paid $2 for, so I made 38 And then the camera, which I told you guys, I possibly may pay $22 for it, so I made 66 bucks. This I paid 50 cents for, and these are my husband's Ray-Bans, and he wanted, he got rid of them. He paid 170 for them, so he got 66 on them. Now, this is the second time this had sold, but she returned it, and it went up to 138. I hated it to return that, like, seriously. This is a vintage, and it wasn't in very good shape, and it still sold for $77. I paid, like, $2 for it eight or nine years ago um this pulled out of a garbage um it's a classic black genuine it's, it was nice but i definitely got it for free so that all was profit so 25 bucks profit 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 um this was crazy i paid a dollar fifty for it um what it was it's like a pen case it's it's from iran and it's it's very special and it, somebody bought it for $120 which was was great and um, I just picked it up on a whim I didn't really know what it was this purse was from the garbage um, I picked up all those really nice purses I gave one of the Kate Spades I call I sold one Kate Spade I still have another Ralph Lauren a black one and then I have a Kate Spade but I'm, I'm keeping that these Tommy Phil Hilfiger plaid trunks, I paid 99 cents for them, sold them for 30. This was canceled. Um, I paid $4 for that coach, sold. Um, these Johnson & Murphys, I paid $4 for, sold for 35. This dress I got from a garbage, all profit there. See, this sold again. And then they didn't, they didn't buy, they didn't pay for it, which sometimes it sucks. Um, this I got half off day, so it was like $2, uh, the Cold Carter Creek, nothing matches, little thing, um, $29. This baby, I paid $2 for, so, I made 14 bucks. This I paid $8 for, 
And then the Gucci and Gabbana bag. I paid $17 for that bag, so I still made a good profit. This um, Jenny Crass embroidery well wool belt, homemade, Peru style. Um, these are awesome, and they sell really well if you find them. Um, $39, so I made $37 bucks on that. These, um, this coach wallet I bought for $1.50. It had that little zipper inside it. Um, I don't know. I just, the lady was bugging, so I just let it go. These came out of a, a jar, and I just let those go. I paid $4 for those boots. These Dan Post, I paid $4. This carved totem pole, I paid $1.50 many, many years ago. This Dave Ramsey thing, I got out of the trash. This Michael Simmons, I bought a long time ago. These ink cartridges, three fifty. This Sims fishing hat, dollar fifty. These were pulled. These parrot toy feeders, pulled out of the trash can. Vintage Coach trash can. Nike torch. Five dollars. Jeffrey Campbell Ibiza. Four dollars. Of the Louisville Suggler, I paid two fifty for that, and that's it, guys. So, um, been doing well. Um, it could be better, I guess. Um, but uh, it it's hard work. It's not easy, and you have to know what you're doing. So. Thanks for watching, and if you're a reseller, good luck with your sales, and leave a comment down below and tell me what you have been selling lately. Thanks for watching. So, um, I sold them for $49. So I made, made $45 bucks on them. They were nice. They had um, some issues, so that's why I couldn't go really higher. I'll show you the issues on them. Um, but they were really cool. They had like these black spots on them. And I don't think those things are going to come off. So, but they were really preppy and cute. But I really don't think. And then we'll go sold. And okay, so we're at the Sir dolls that I bought.